Look at that view. Amazing, isn't it? If you know, you know. But for those who don't, let me introduce you to our friendly neighborhood Canadians. What's in Banff? Well, the short answer is mountains, 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 lakes, mountains, bears, mountains, whatever that is. Mountains, lakes, squirrel, more lakes, more mountains, and more mountains. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Obviously, there's more to Banff than that. So why don't you join me, excuse me, us, on a little adventure. <clears throat> Nestled just outside of Banff is Canmore. Canmore is a little ski town with a rabbit infestation, apparently. This little town would be the best spot to stay if you plan on visiting Banff. And as you can tell, it's got its own charm as well. And with a short drive, you'll reach Lake Louise and be greeted with this kind of view. Just remember though, there are expectations and there is reality. We've been in the same spot for an hour. Among the many hikes you could do, today we decided to trek a little beehive hike. about Lake Louise? Uh, blew me away. Yes. How'd you guys feel about the first hike? Round trip. It's about six miles or so. And once you make it back down, you can reward yourself with a nice drink from Lake Louise for supper. Not taste like Baja Blast. <laughs> about to go up the pan, Heights aren't your thing. So why don't you come with me as we take a nice peaceful drive along the Ice Fields Parkway. Closely, that lake awfully looks like a wolf's head.
eat some beaver tail at Banff Avenue. No, not that kind of beaver tail. It's currently three o'clock. Everyone's waking up to go to Moraine Lake at 3 a.m. But if there's one thing you should absolutely do, it's visit Moraine Lake. Especially during the sunrises. Going to Banff. Going to Banff. Again, day four. And that's what we did. We woke up early, drove in the darkness, carefully of course, found a parking spot, and got all of these gorgeous pics. Is what I wish I could say. Shutter, 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 stop. What? Oh, serious? So it's 4.30 a.m. We couldn't get parking at Moraine Lake. We took a giant L for Lake Louise. It sucks we couldn't see Moraine Lake at sunrise. But you gotta make the best of what you got. So this is Lake Louise, Encore Edition. And a good way to lift your spirits after disappointment is to simply canoe around the lake. When there's a little beehive, there must be a big beehive. And that's where we're going. Arguably a much tougher hike than its twin, the views are just as breathtaking. If you have weak knees, avoid at all costs. Better way to end a tough, tough day than with a cruise along Lake Midewalka. Alright, there's no way we can leave without visiting Moraine Lake. Luckily, we found a way. There's a bus that takes you up there. Not during sunrise, but we'll take it. Anything cool you'd like to say, Rebecca? About your experience? Uh, I can't wait. I just smell like bugs. I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna become a Canadian. But we didn't make it to the sunrise at Moraine Lake, but it's good enough. And why hit one lake when you can hit two? The pre-hike stretch. Constellation Lake is an easy hike, and if you like a little bit of rock climbing, then this is for you.
Well, that about wraps it up. A small sliver of Banff National Park. Could we have died? Sure. But when you're at Banff, you might as well go out with a bang. Where are we going today? Wherever the parkway takes us. So much to do, but not enough time. So let's just call this Banff Part 1. I guess I'll just say, if you ever have the opportunity to visit Banff in this lifetime, just do it. Bring your camera, or a couple friends, or your family, and just... If you haven't gone, you need to go to Banff this year, or next year. Just go to Banff.